Law Review is a student-edited scholarly publication. It is often quoted in court decisions. It's published in several issues, so there's many opportunities for both student and practitioner publication. Law Review associates have a leg up when it comes to applying for jobs. It's beneficial for clerkships and for being a judge later in your career. Oftentimes, it's a box that needs to be checked. Really, the story of the development of the, uh, of the Law Review is just simply a, a tribute to the drive and desire of a succession of students to make that Law Review work, and it was not easy. It's very, very difficult to put the Law Review out. It's a massive amount of work. The Law Review gave this law school credibility that it didn't previously have. 45 years later, we're now in volume number 45, Joan Nelson's volume, and volume 46 will be Amber Fitzgerald's. Being the first editor-in-chief of a law review nationally to come from a blending learning option demonstrates to me and the greater legal community that students that are not traditional, that work full-time, that have families that just can't make it to campus, have the same opportunities and the same capabilities. We're receiving the same amazing education here at Mitchell Hamlin and demonstrating that we have something to contribute. We have been preparing for the board elections for a long time and she told me she was interested in uh, the editor-in-chief position and wondering if that is even possible as a blended learning student. I wasn't sure. I looked around and I couldn't find like any rules or anything like that. I ultimately told her, sure, it's possible. You can apply, but we're going to have to sort of take your remote status into consideration. There was just something intangible about her motivation and her vision for law review and her apparent commitment to being dedicated to the law review rather than to herself getting in the position. She just exudes a sort of direction and purpose that we think is going to serve the law review very well. I'm very confident that she's going to take the law review very far forward. And I think it's just wonderful that she got elected as editor-in-chief and the competition is really quite fierce so she must have, uh, must have really stood out to this past year's board of editors. And what she has done is to demonstrate that law school is law school, that law students are law students. I couldn't be more pleased. We just had our passing of the torch lunch today, and it's always interesting to me to see the new editor-in-chief come in and to see the old editor-in-chief leaving, to see the torch uh, pass, and to see that continuity. It's been an amazing experience for me over the years. I wanted to be the editor-in-chief of Law Review for two reasons. The first reason is I have loved my Law Review experience. It has far and above been the most rewarding opportunity that I've had in law school, and I want to make sure that the next group of associates have the same experience or an even better experience than I did. And the second reason is I feel like it's a way that I can contribute meaningfully to the legal community. For me, it plays to my strengths. It's something that I feel relatively comfortable doing, and I want to make sure that this volume is as successful as it can be.